Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Monday the 15th of November. Following Robert Murray McShane, one of the chapters we read today is Hebrews chapter 10. And I was struck by verse 19. It says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through the curtains, that is his body. And, and, and I thought, we have confidence to enter the very presence of God, the most holy place, by the blood of Jesus. And it got me thinking, what do we place our confidence in? We live in a world where self-confidence is, is fated and everybody uh, must boost their self-confidence and uh, talk themselves up. And the number of people that uh, have to doctor the, <laughs> their pres the presentation of themselves and you look at your, your CV and your resume and you want it to look better and you, where is our confidence? And I've heard many eulogies at funerals where people speak of the wonderful things a person has done and how they help to do, uh, look after the poor and they looked after their, their parents very, very well. All good things. But if that's what our confidence is in, that we've been good people, if our confidence is in the fact that we went to church regularly or that we were part of our house group or even that we read the Bible every day, if our confidence is in what we have done, we have no confidence because actually no matter what you've done, you could always have done more. Yes, I say my prayers. I do morning prayer, morning and evening. And somebody said, oh, that's very good. So-and-so does midday prayers as well. Oh, oh and then I start doing midday prayers and that person does e uh, night prayer. And no matter what you do, you can always do more. And we can never place our confidence in what we do. Our confidence eternally has to be in Jesus because he has done it all. Everything else, everything else we do does matter because that's being like Jesus. And he's told us to go out and love our neighbors. He's told us to be forgiving. He's told us to live like that. And so as we do it, we're giving expression to our faith. But our confidence is never in what we do. Our confidence always has to be in Jesus because Jesus has done it all. He is our great high priest that has gone into the most holy place with his blood and therefore we enter with him. So be encouraged to do good things, but always remember, place your confidence in Jesus.